Hey, this is Danielle, the domestic scientist, and I love shopping at Neiman Marcus for home decor because they have so many luxurious, beautiful, and unique pieces, but many of the items I love are super expensive. However, I have found several inspired pieces at my local home goods. In today's video, I'm bringing you another high-end home goods shopping haul. I'm going to show you my latest home goods finds and the high-end pieces they were inspired by, many of which you can find at Neiman Marcus. We'll look at the original items on the Neiman Marcus website just to do a quick comparison. So let's get started. All right, so the first item I got from my local home goods is this white abstract sculpture, and I thought it was so pretty when I saw it. So in looking on the Neiman Marcus website, I did see that it's inspired by the John Richard collection. They have a freeform sculpture that sells for $665. And as I look at the piece that I purchased at my local home goods, I can really tell that it was inspired by this piece. Now, there are some differences, and one of the first differences that I notice is with the finish. So the John Richards piece is an aluminum piece, and it's either painted or it's got some type of enamel on there, but the white finish has a nice sheen to it. So it has a little bit more of a formal look. However, the piece that I picked up at my local home goods has more of a matte finish. That being the case, I still think it is a beautiful piece. I love the shape and I think it's super unique. I also like the scale of it, um, so it's pretty tall. Of course, the piece that I found at my local home goods is significantly cheaper. I scored my piece for about $50 and I saved well over $600 um, over what they were charging at Neiman Marcus. So I'm really excited to have this piece. The scale is really great, so it does fit nicely in my fireplace and I do think it's something I could really um, design a couple of looks around. All right, so my next items are a set of black and white decorative boxes, and I just love the geometric print on them. I thought they were super cute and stylish. In looking at the Neiman Marcus website, I can definitely tell that my decorative boxes are inspired by the Jonathan uh, Adler Op Art boxes. Now, he's got a set of these, but the medium stacking box goes for $145. I did get two of these, one medium, one large. I did stack them on top of each other, just so you can see the top and the sides. Now the Jonathan Adler piece is a little bit different because it's got more triangles whereas the box I purchased from Home Goods has both triangles and stripes but either way I think that they are very stylish and beautiful. Now I will say I absolutely love some of Jonathan Adler pieces. They can be a bit pricey but they are super unique. So um, the Jonathan Adler pieces come in three different boxes, but they all have like different striping. And so I think that uh, that collection is really cute, but I'm definitely happy with the pair that I've got. And I think I paid about $15 each for mine. So I think it was a really great value as well. All right, so the next item I want to show you that I found at my local home goods is this stunning jar with a gold metal lid to it. Now, I happened to find this particular jar on Sagebrook Home website, and I was super excited about it. It's described as a glass bottom with an aluminum top. It is 31 inches tall, and the bottom of it has a nice, beautiful pearl or opal style finish. And this piece does come in 31 and 46 inches. I went for the smaller version because it fits perfectly in my fireplace. It makes a huge statement, takes up a good amount of space, and it really gives you that glam effect. Now, I really love the top of this unit because it's gold at the top, but the gold is almost hammered a little bit, so it has a nice textured finish to it. And I think it is just a really unique piece. So I'm so excited to be adding it to my collection. Now, when you shop for this online, you can find it at places like house.com and actually house is probably the most affordable place that you can find it. It retails for about $380 on house.com. And of course, I paid much less for it at my local home goods. 
Now, I will say I am collecting some of these jars with the metal lids. And so I'm super excited to be adding this one to my collection. At some point, I will do a um, collection video for you guys so you can see how many of these I have acquired. And I think this one is just stunning, has a beautiful pearly finish and it's just so beautiful. All right, so the next items I found at my local home good is another set of decorative boxes. Now these boxes are just a simple white box, but they have a lot of texture and they kind of give you those faux animal skin vibes, but they're absolutely beautiful. The texture though is very subtle, so you really can use these boxes in a lot of ways and mix and match them with lots of looks. Now on the Neiman Marcus website, they do have some large um, jewelry boxes. This one is more of an omelet envelope style they do have one that's a little bit deeper and I think it's absolutely gorgeous it's by Aaron Lauder and I think that this box is certainly inspired by this Aaron Lauder piece. Now, um, the one on Neiman Marcus website does have a little bit more gold trim on the inside and outside, and the box on the Neiman Marcus website is actually a jewelry box. So when you open the inside of the Aaron Lauder piece, you have dividers to help separate out the jewelry. Now, the one that I purchased from my local home goods looks very similar on the outside, but it is just a plain decorative box which is exactly what I was in the market for. You can see on the Neiman Marcus website this jewelry box goes for well over $1,200 and I was very happy to find my piece on clearance for $15. Now I do have two of these boxes. They both have a slightly different clasp. So the first one that has the scroll clasp I think it is really pretty and I think the gold accents and the gold hardware is really highlighted a little bit more on the scrolled clasp. So I think it is a really pretty box that you can pair especially if you have a gold accent to put with it but when it comes to the one that has more of the flat panel like the Aaron Lauder piece that one I think is really great because you can pair it with some silver or gold accessories and so I think it looks great either way because the gold is very insignificant on this box it adds just a hint of bling without being too much now the last item I found on the Neiman Marcus website is the Ocean Reef Center piece a bowl now this particular Ocean Reef Center piece bowl on the Neiman Marcus website is done in silver however the piece that I found at my local Local home good is almost identical however my piece happens to be in gold and I think it is a really pretty really stunning and I think it pairs very well with these Aaron Lauder um, inspired um, decorative boxes and I think the combination of the two is really really great and of course I'm saving so much money over what you would spend if you were out shopping at Neiman Marcus I think Neiman Marcus is a great store they are offer a lot of high-end products, but I don't think it's practical to spend $205 on just a simple kind of reef inspired bowl. I just don't think that that's the great way or the best use of your money. So I love shopping at home goods because I find so many affordable deals that are really inspired by higher end designer pieces. So this is part one of my home goods shopping haul. I am going to come back with part two in a few days to show you guys some of the other goodies that I found. So I'm Danielle, the domestic scientist. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me which item from my shopping haul you like the most, and I will see you guys in the next video.